Hi, this is Thomas. And this is Robbie. And today, we're gonna run you through. Wait, do, should we say believe in the run? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, this is Thomas. This is Robbie. I'm more believe in the run. Let's try it again. <laughs> Hi, this is Thomas from Believe in the Run. This is Robbie with Believe in the Run. And today, we're gonna run you through the A6 lineup and try to help you figure out what A6 would be right for you. Dude, this is like Mount Fuji over here. Like a mountain of Japanese. Are you saying, yeah, I was goodness. gonna say because A6 is a Japanese yeah. company? Yeah, a yeah. mountain of A6 Japanese goodness. Do you know here. one of their new things that they're embodying? It's actually not new, but it, they're really just embracing it for yeah. steam. Sound body, sound mind. Or is it See, sound mind, sound body? <laughs> it's sound body, sound mind. There we go. Yeah, but it's, it seems so transcendental, I'm like. Yeah, I'll just keep, it's like a mantra, just keep repeating yeah. that to myself. Yeah. Today's review that we're doing right now is sponsored by Pure, P-W-U-R-E. And what that is, is nutrition based on your data. Yours. So you get a pre-run, like carbs. Yeah, it's like a formula that they do. It's organic, vegan, all this good stuff. They, they look it, at your- Vegan options, you can also get- Do whatever, yeah. yeah. Tune it to how you need. And then you also get a post-run recovery mix. So you pair them together, easy digestible carbs for your run, post run, you know, powders to make yeah, your muscles grow. It comes with a package that says your name on it. You're like, wait, that's mine? Yeah, yeah. cool, all right. Developed specifically for you, so check them out. Link in the bio, pure nutrition. Anyway, let's go right to it. Robbie, yeah. should we start with the traditional? Like tradition, filler on the roof style, let's do it. Is that the song, right, tradition? Okay, yeah, well. it is. Uh, theater guy here. Wow, that song really Just sticks with you because I don't think I've heard it for like 20 years really? and it's still in the noggin. Tradition. Because it's tradition. All right, so traditionally speaking, one of the most longest running shoes in the ASICS lineup, the Gel Nimbus 23 Daily Workhorse. A little bit bulkier shoe. Super comfortable upper. I mean, there's plush. This is one I, that, yeah. if you go to your local running store, and you say, hey, I just, I'm starting running and I want to get into it. Chances are you're probably walking out with this shoe on your foot. The newest version has seeable gel. I want to say four seeable. Visible technology, yo. Seeable, that's not a word. Visible and technology. Visible technology. It's got a little bit of a stability piece right here, but not as much Trusic. as the Keanu. Yeah, they're trustic. The Ahar. Ahar plus rubber. rubber. So you got a lot of durability out there. Just a pretty straightforward. Neutral daily, neutral daily trainer. trainer. So say you want to go with something that's, I don't know, a little more affordable, maybe a little bit lighter. Got the Asics Gel Cumulus, lighter like a cloud. The 23 Jordan style. Does this thing win in the uh, overtime or at the game winning shot buzzer? That's a basketball term. Yeah, for the hoopers. <laughs> Does this win on the courts? I don't know. I think it's a pretty solid shoe. I like the Cumulus a lot. I like last year's version. I've run some miles in this one that's coming out relatively soon. I like it more than the Nimbus just because it is a little bit lighter. It still has a very comfortable upper, a nice ride, pretty straightforward. It's using a traditional EVA foam. It's got the gel in it. But you know, when you look at, to compare it to say the Nimbus, the Nimbus has the new nanocellular fi fiber flight foam in it where that has your more of a traditional EVA foam in it. Great deal, good bargain, fantastic shoe for where it fits into beginner, runner, before you know what you really like in a shoe. Yeah. This is one of those neutral trainers that you can get good miles out of and not, with no and then nonsense. And once you find out that you hate running, you, can, you won't feel yeah, too bad you'll about You'll keep it. buying more expensive <laughs> shoes to try to make, your, exactly. make you like it better. Robbie, we both really liked the update to the Nimbus, the Nimbus Lite 2. For sure which is right here. Runs these days, this is like all I'm wearing. I think almost every run. This shoe is basically the modern version of the Nimbus. If they said, okay, Nimbus is the past, this is the future. You've got a sculpted, 3D sculpted midsole, pretty stable base, wide enough. It's, it's not a stability shoe. We're gonna show you the stability version mm -hmm. in a second. A really nice cushioned trainer. Something about that wide base really hits me and the feel of the midsole combined with that where it provides that little bit of stability but it's like, like a soft yet responsive feel to it. I don't know what it is, but I love it. So this shoe is, I would say also one of my favorite of the ASICS lineup. There's a shoe that took its place, we'll get to in a minute, but for just a standard run feel, 
maybe a modern take on the running shoe, Nimbus Light 2 hits the spot. The upper to me is the only thing I found a little bit like not quite locked down. It's it's good, it's just like, and it's comfortable. It's it just needs some shape. Little, yeah, that's what it is. So say you want all that modern technology in a stability shoe. Well, guess what? Here this it is. Right here. So the Kano Light, they've gotten rid of dual density foams. They've gotten rid of posting on the uh, medial side to all, keep your ankle yeah. straight. All the traditional crap. Yeah. So what'd they do, Robbie, to update this classic? So instead of using the traditional stability methods, they did a little bit, they widened the base, they have this little flare going out with the midsole. Uh, in the heel, you got a certain amount of cushion in here to help stabilize it. Yeah. It's kind of a new take on it, but it, it all in all leads to a lighter package, still a good, very nice ride. Yeah, the structure comes from a new geometry. So you can really see it in here as you see it come up. And this is that area that normally you'd have a denser foam to create stability, where this takes geometry, wedges it up that way, instead of having to put in lots of different foams. Again, both these two shoes going into the future, they're trying to have a green footprint. The upper is made from partially recycled materials. The midsole is made from cellulose nanofiber. I can't believe I yeah. remember that one. On yeah, the spot. and it what that is is the uh, stuff that's an offshoot of the refinement of sugarcane. Yeah, yeah. yeah, all this stuff. <laughs> it's a great addition to the Asics line and the Asics family. Some of the most exciting stuff in the Asics lineup right now. Asics has come up with a glide ride and a guide sole technology, mm -hmm. which is basically a rocker with an exaggerated toe spring. And you can really see it. This is the Glide Ride 2. And you can really see the toe spring coming off here. We actually posted a picture on Instagram where it just looks like Whoop. shooting right off. A roller coaster mm -hmm. ride straight to the top. Yeah. And what that does is as you come through your stride, you move through it quicker because it pivots right behind your toes here and gives you that fast feeling through your stride. The shoe isn't exactly light, but because it's efficient, because it has a plate in it, it's not a carbon fiber plate, that gives it some rigidity, it just rolls through your stride. Yeah, so it makes up for that weight, like especially on longer runs. It's supposed to create less stress on your ankle joints. They did some studies on the shoe, creates less stress. So when you're doing long runs or going for distance, the shoe is going to be easier on your body and your joints. By the way, three shoes in the Glide series. We've got the Glide Ride, the Evo Ride, and the Meta Racer. Let's go into the second one. So you want something a little bit lighter, doesn't have a plate, maybe a faster tempo day, everyday trainer, Evo Ride 2. And what this has is has a similar geometry in the midsole with that rocker bottom, the high toe spring, and a lighter package. There's no plate in this. So this is your basic lightweight daily trainer that you can pick up the pace in. For me, this is a little bit of a do-it-all shoe because you can really, you know, if you wanted to, you could race in the shoe, you can do tempo runs in the shoe, it's nice and soft enough for daily uh, runs. It's not gonna beat up your legs too much. Of the ASIC shoes, which my favorite is, my preference would probably go to the Evo Ride 2. I just feel like it's a fun, snappy shoe that you could get a lot of miles out of. Simple midsole, simple upper, clean, looks like a running shoe, runs like a running shoe, can handle most of your workouts. Now, it's got a little sister now. Yeah. The Noosa Tri 13. If you look at the shoe, it's built on the same platform, pretty much a very similar pretty shoe. Similar. The only thing that's different, you get a pull tab, you get a gusseted tongue in this one, which you don't get in this. This also comes with a bungee cord lacing if you want for your try, so you can just yank it on real fast. Uh, and it looks awesome. Definitely has a fun look to it, <laughs> fast fun. These two are very similar, so when I say my favorite ASIC shoe, you could go I guess I gotta say both of these. Depends if you're running a try or not. Yeah. Then we get, finally, to the Meta Racer. Yeah, their carbon plate eraser. I guess you could call it their super shoe, although it's like a slim down super shoe kind of. More more, more traditional. traditional. Yeah. So yeah, this came out in July. Very nice breathable upper. You got this, what some people would like to call a USB port in the front, which is really just an air ventilation hole. Yeah. The whole window. thought process is cooler feet, cooler body, lower heart rate. So it's supposed to help your overall performance. Makes sense. And sure. everything about this upper is to capture the air and push it through the shoe so that you can cool your feet down. Other than that, it's got a carbon fiber plate. It's kind of like, looks like a little lobster claw mm. kind of thing coming through. You can see it's pretty rigid. That's me using all my muscles. Yeah, well, there's not much yeah. there. 
It's got a sponge rubber. Look at it, it looks so smooth. You're like, that's got no traction. But guess what, Robbie? You'd be wrong. Yeah, it's like grips. Yeah. So the A6 Trabuco Max, and it definitely puts the MAX in the Max. Yeah. Uh, very thick uh, high stack over here in the rear. Gator system for locking down, locking out that dirt. You know you wanna talk about the garage. <laughs> I was thinking about it like two minutes ago. I was like, I can't <laughs> wait to get to the garage part. <laughs> A uh, quick lacing system with a lace garage, or as they say in England, ga garage. Garage. Which... Lace garage. I, I love... I, there aren't a lot of things I like about, like, I don't want to call something the loo, or mm -hmm. I don't want to call my french fries chips. What about wheelie bins? I, I don't even know what that is. It That's like, like a... When instead you, of trash can. Yeah, it's a trash can, pretty much. What do they call a cart in a trolley? A trial and the boot of your car. Yeah, get it all out. Of I like car. using boot. I say boot. Boot is actually okay, but anyways, a lace garage. Uh, you can cinch it up really nice here. And our trail review team really enjoyed this shoe surprisingly. Now, it why is, was that surprisingly? Well, because Asics isn't known for their trail game exactly. So okay. when they got this, they had some nice runs, and it has really nice outsole yeah. here. Um, deep or thick lugs. Pretty solid offering. A little bit heavier. I haven't done trails in this shoe but i have used it for like hiking and that kind of stuff it's super comfortable underfoot the cushioning is really nice all right so you have one shoe to pick which one are you going with so my pick of all of them is the john Hammond light two just a really nice like i said ride i love it i wear it all the time even to this day so and then for me evo ride two for you who knows maybe you're a traditional guy you yeah. want to go with the traditional one. Maybe you're a stability person. Maybe you're there like, you I want to. I just want to go for miles and miles and miles. You want that glide ride action. Yeah. Perhaps you have a wetsuit in your, you know, closet. This is the one you want. All right, this is insane. We we're doing our Asics lineup. We actually forgot one of the most exciting shoes from Asics to put in there because we're <laughs> idiots. Yeah. So we're back from the future to come back to you in the past and put this Nova Blast in our lineup. Nova Blast from the past. So a lot of people love this shoe. I feel like this one's one of the polarizing ASIC shoes. It is, which is kind of why we <laughs> forgot it in the first place. Yeah. Megan um, loved this thing. A lot of people love this thing. Like, yeah, look at, I mean, seriously... look how, I mean, hers are dirty. They're, they're busted. She did it. Like, I wore mine just long enough to get it in the review. I found it soft and unstable, and it just didn't fit my stride right. Like, I think you have to have a little more of a heel strike to love this shoe. I actually found it the same way to be a little bit unstable and soft for myself, but people who love this thing really love this. And when we first saw the shoe at the running event- I uh, mean, we were so excited. We were so excited, but they were like, eh, it's not really a running sh shoe originally. And then we were like, you should probably make it a running shoe. Yeah. Because it looks awesome. This shoe, what you're gonna get from the A6 in this one is a really soft ride, a lot of bounce. This is a bouncy sole. Yeah, so it has the Flight Foam Blast midsole, which I think right now is the only ASICs to have it. Yeah. It's, like you said, super bouncy, super fun, uh, responsive. Really you know what shoe this kind of reminds me of? Nike Invincible, who's using oh. the full yep. layer of Zoom X. They both have that bouncy feel where I think the difference is, is that one has a wider base, so that maybe that's why we're having a little more positive feel towards that one than this one. This one's pretty narrow on the base. Sarah Hall did the bulk of her training for the London Marathon in this shoe. Anyway, wow. if Sarah Hall some loves there. this shoe and runs in it every day, don't take our word for it. Take her word for it. Yeah. Check it out. The upper feels great on this. Like the shoe is, is pretty much there, except for if you look at this heel for us, a little too narrow, a little too wobbly. If you don't feel that way, you're really gonna like this shoe. Well, it bounces along. It's a cool shoe. I definitely think it's different than anything else that yeah, Asics has out there. For sure. Megan loved it for easier days, recovery days, just when she wanted to cruise on something nice and soft on her legs. I'd say that she would replace like the Clifton with yeah. this. And it might be the best looking Asics out there. I think it would be Oh, it is. It is the best is looking Asics out there. I'd even put it, this one above the Noosa, which people seem to be going crazy about. People do love the Noosa but, try. Yeah. Sorry we had to edit this one in, but now you got it. And there it is. There you go. The Nova Blast. Yeah, just bring it. Put the explosion thing in there. So that's it for the ASICs lineup. If you have any questions or you want to know about ASICs shoes, how they fit, whatever, go ahead, 
hit us up do it. in the comments. I do find that in ASICs, I have started going down a half size for a better fit. It's worked out so far. So maybe you wanna try both your regular size and a half size down. If you did order from say Running Warehouse, it has free shipping like there and the back. Link, at the link in the description. Yeah. Um, so that's it. So check out ASICs. Um, say hi to your mom. Yeah, for sure. Subscribe to us here, like we said. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, get in our Strava group, and of course, listen to the Drop Podcast. We've been having some amazing guests on, have weekly discussions about running and stuff that probably doesn't matter about running. So yeah. I think it's cool. Yeah, you might just enjoy it. Yeah. So check that out. And Robbie, catch. Pure nutrition. I think it's pronounced that way. Pure. What are we gonna say? Yeah, pure. It's gotta be. Cut that first army on this. I think it's 24. That's something you should know. Shoot. Where's the name? It doesn't say it on this version, of course. Yeah, it does. It doesn't. Oh, does it say it on the back? Right. I can't read it because I need glasses. Okay. Nope. Oh, 23. There you go. Okay. Jordan. Try it. Try it. Yeah, you're gonna have to. All right. Brandon, do your thing. Yeah.